want to save this, then we get into that. Yeah, we get into that. You know, I want everybody listening to me to get it clear that there is no secret drill anywhere. Mm -hmm. The secret drill is hard work. Mm -hmm. You just have to work hard. You know, I've had about five people coming to me with complaint by a lady called Agrada. Mm -hmm. And I've decided not to talk to Agrada or anything because when I get the story, I get so pissed. That first one, a lady who was pregnant came to me and said she took the husband's cocoa money or whatever, 20,000, to go to that lady, Agrada, for her to double it. And now she's coming to me and saying, why are you coming to me? She can't find the money back? Yeah. Wow. And she didn't get anything. Another lady came to me with 2,500, say she wanted to double it. It's great. Why are you coming to me? I've seen a guy on the cursing a grata for taking 4,500. Yesterday, another case in point was a lady from Europe that She's taking 22,000 in total from her because she wanted to double her money. I've decided not to go after Agrada because I think they are all being foolish. We are, we're the ones to blame. Yeah. The woman is wherever she is and you walk to her. So if she deceives you and you come to Kenya Japan, what can I do? <laughs> and, but, what is worrying is that any time they become aware yeah. that the woman is duping them, then she will use macho men to drag them out of the place. Wow. That, I have a problem with it. If she doesn't stop, I will expose it. Well, I'm gathering all the information. Why I'm saying this is that yesterday, something serious happened. I will not give you details until next week okay. when the police come up because some of the victim's relatives have not been informed. Wow. So I will not mention In the name of all this double the money secret draw and whatever, um, there's a, a village here. Adesu. Yeah, Adesu. Adesu. Yesterday, police assumed Four bodies. Four bodies. Two men were killed in January and February. The other woman, according to the description, they only saw the head yeah. and the underwear and the skeleton. But there was no score, meaning he cut the head. He cut the head. Yeah. Then when they were destroying the so-called idol, whatever she would have for them, when the police broke it and they saw human head, then the stomach with all the fat under. Because they advertise that they can make you rich. And when you go there, they kill you. At least police assumed four bodies yesterday. From Adesu. Honorable, is this the reason why the National Communication Authority has banned their promotions on TV and radio? Because yes, I saw please. That in the news if they are banning, then they should do that to Agrada too. Hmm. I didn't know she has a TV station. Yeah, she, she actually has. I, I've seen it a few times on TV. Ah, it's so actress. disgusting what is going on in this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yesterday, you, you are the second station which is privy to this information mm -hmm. I'm giving you. But from Monday, to Friday, you see, the police will come out and you see. So I want to share this with you, that nobody can double your money for you. Nobody can make you rich. If you want to be rich, the youth of this country, take your destiny into your own hands and work hard. If you don't work hard and you think there are some human beings somewhere that can make you rich, I'm afraid you are deceiving yourself. Now, if you live in Accra, I, I want to give you practical common sense. Yeah. You live in Accra, you take a 
or you drive your car to Adesso. Are you stupid? You drive your car from Accra to Adesso, a village. a village. To seek help. To seek help for somebody to make you rich. If you think the person can make you rich, why would he be staying at Adesso and not at airport or country? Honorable, is it is it because the information around how to go about doing business and making real money isn't available to the youth or per your experience, they just, they just don't want to listen? Um, you know, the perception, unfortunately, in this country, I'll be blunt. Be, be very blunt. This perception that Sikedro is there when we're growing up, it was there. But the person who worsened the situation, I'll be blunt, we do was ex-president Rollins. Why so? He made people lazy and over-dependent on government. Because when he came, he killed and collapsed successful Ghanaian businesses in this country. Allow the ordinary workers, mm -hmm. like you and Edward Watting, mm -hmm. your workers here, mm -hmm. Rollins will kill Edward Watting or let him run away from this country and allow the workers to run the business. You don't know the thinking that went through yeah. for him to establish this radio station. So when it is given to you overnight, you won't be able to run it. Precisely. So they had CDRs, PBCs, and they'll be singing. We're not going to sit down making cheaters every day. No, no. Wallahi. Rollins created the impression that the owners of the businesses were cheating, were cheating their workers. And they took over. And everything, he indoctrinated Ghanaians to a stand that everything was government. Government. So you see today that most of our people have become beggars. They are always depending on government for everything. That is the remote cause of what we are experiencing today. Everybody thinks government has to do everything. It is not true. Anywhere in the world, you can't get it. Anybody who depends solely on government will never succeed in life. Because what the government has, he has, she has to share it mm -hmm. to everybody. So how much are you going to get? And we have to actually contribute to the bigger amounts they are sharing. Precisely. So now I come to the point. Honestly, I believe by the end of this interview, a lot of people listening now, especially the youth, will actually come into terms with the fact that the reality is reality. There's no yeah. scenario anywhere. You know, the shortcut will land you into trouble. 